ask him questions and yeah enjoy Thank you, Silke, and um, good morning, everyone. So my name is um, Mehdi. I'm the co-founder of Smartest Learning. We are uh, a startup uh, created two years ago. We are based in Zurich, in Switzerland. Um, and I'm going to uh, share a, a quick description of what we do and our company, and then really show you how our, the tool we've developed works and give you the opportunity to, uh, to try it as well. So I'm going to share a couple of slides to explain you what we do. Um, so our motto is to facilitate personal and playful learning experiences because from we know what we know is uh, uh, that when learning is uh, enjoyable, uh, it tends to stick better. Um, and also that uh, when it's more personalized to uh, what you're exactly studying or what you need to, uh, to learn, um, it's also going to be more effective. But the question is how to, um, to build a tool that allows you to deliver these uh, personal and playful learning experiences. And this is why we, we created our company two years ago. So that's the, the team behind uh, Smartest. And in the background, you see the, the city of Zurich. So we are based at the Techno Park in Zurich. And um, um, so I'm taking care of uh, everything that is commercial and marketing. And Steve, my co-founder, who has a, a PhD in computer science, is our, our CTO. And then we've assembled a, a team of, uh, of developers and um, uh, artificial intelligence specialists to build the tool I'm going to, uh, to show you now. So our objective is to make it easy for professors to create formative assessments. And what we do for this is we use computer vision, which is one of the branches of um, artificial intelligence, to extract content from existing documents that are already being used by, uh, by professors. And then we use another branch of uh, AI, which is called natural language processing, to analyze the content we've uh, extracted and to automatically generate questions and verify the, uh, the answers. So in short, this is uh, what we do. And um, a couple of other things to mention is we, we've developed a web app that is uh, cloud-based, which means that uh, students and uh, professors can create and uh, use exercises from any device, any time. Um, and also, we've created uh, already an interface in three languages, so German, English, and, um, and French. So, the way it works is that you either upload the document or take a picture of a book page. And with a few clicks, we are going to help uh, the professor convert uh, this content into uh, customizable exercises, which I'm going to show you in, um, in, a, in a minute. And in the program of the, the session, I'm going to show you how to create a couple of uh, exercises with Smartest. Then I will share with you a link uh, that, so that you can try the exercises as a guest user. And maybe a word on, on this. So normally, the way Smartest works is we, we work mostly with um, education institutions. And we create user accounts and classes for them so that the professors can easily share the exercises with their classes. For this session, we've created especially a beta version of um, a guest sharing. So you will be using a guest user account. Uh, I'm mentioning this because it's a beta version, so let's see how, um, how it goes. It's going to be the first time we, we use this, so hopefully uh, everything goes well. But you'll tell me, and if you need any assistance, the, the chat is, uh, is open. And then we'll take five minutes at the end to, uh, to answer your, your questions. So I'm going to uh, show you now uh, our tool. And what you can see here is the, the screen that uh, a teacher would use to, uh, to create um, an exercise. And I'm going to click on Create New Exercise. And you see we have eight templates to choose from, from creating uh, diagrams to flashcards to fill the gaps or categorization. I'm not going to show them uh, all for, uh, for the sake of time. But uh, let's start. Uh, let's imagine that you're a biology professor and you want to study with your class uh, plant cells. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to upload the source uh, that it's a document or a picture that I had already put on my, my, uh, my laptop. But you could also go to, uh, 
uh, to take a picture or go on the internet and find um, a document and do exactly the same. But um, I'm going to, to use a document that I already have here. Um, and I think this is this one, yeah. So I'm uploading it now to, um, to Smartest. And so we work with PDF or images. So in this case, this is um, an image. And now I have it in, uh, in, uh, in the Smartest tool. And I'm going now to create an exercise. Let's say that I want my students to, uh, to remember the different parts of a plant cell. So this is where we use computer vision to uh, generate an exercise that is going to look like, like this. And what you can see on the right hand side is that we automatically detect the different words that were on this image. If I want, I can also uh, edit them. So it's really important for us that the, the professor has the always the upper hand and, uh, and can make uh, edits. I, I could also uh, merge boxes or delete some and so on. But let's say I'm satisfied now with my exercise. So I'm just going to, um, to uh, uh, give it a title here. I'm going to save it. And now I have an exercise that is ready that uh, you'll be able to use in, um, in, uh, in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to show you another exercise and then I'm going to share both with you so that you can, uh, you can try them. So let's imagine from exactly the same document that I uploaded, I want to create questions to my students so that they can memorize uh, what's on this, uh, this page. So I'm going to create a fill the gap. I'm going to use the source that I've already uploaded. And now I'm going to press this button here on the right hand side that is going to read the text and automatically generate questions based on this, uh, this text. So that's uh, where we use natural language processing to do this. And what you can see here is that we've uh, already generated uh, five questions. So I'm going to stick to these five questions for the moment. Um, but uh, uh, I can also remove some if, uh, if, uh, if I wanted to. So if I don't like uh, a question here, or I could add more. But for the moment, let's say we, we stick to, uh, to this. So I'm going also to uh, uh, name uh, this uh, plant cells MCQ. And I'm going to save it. All right. And so now what I'm going to do is share these two exercises with, um, with you. So I'll start with this one. So the plant cells uh, diagram, I'm going to click here on share. I'm going to generate a link and I'm going to copy it and put it in the chat. All right. So you should be able now, either by clicking or copying this, um, this uh, link, to open um, a tab uh, in your browser and try the exercise as a guest. And um, that's, uh, that's really important that you try it as a, as a guest, because otherwise you would have to, um, uh, to, uh, to do a, uh, an account. So just to show you how it would uh, look like on my screen, I don't know if you can still see my screen where, let me just give it a try again, so. Okay, so this is the, the screen you should see and you should join as a guest and then you can do uh, the exercise for, for, for yourself. And now the other exercise you remember I had um, I had shared. I'm going to uh, show it as well to uh, to you. So let me just come back to the screen I was sharing. I'm going to generate also a link that I'm going to share with you for the MCQ. If you want to give it a try. Here we go.
that's the the other one and i see i think uh, someone mentioned that um, the um, uh, that even with zero percent answers you have uh, all the levels uh, completed that's because you are using uh, the guest account and as i mentioned uh, before uh, this is a, a beta version so when you if you were part of a school you would have different levels that you could uh, achieve in this case there's only one level so even with zero percent uh, answers you, you can still uh, achieve uh, all the uh, all uh, levels uh, that's why all right i'm going to quickly put the second exercise uh, yeah no i had already shared it so you can uh, you can try it for 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 yourself all right and whilst you are trying this um, exercise, I can um, show you a couple of um, of others that we could create as well. So I'm going to show you now an exercise that I'm not going to share with you, but now I'm I'm simply um, showing you uh, some something else you could create. So, for instance, let's say. I'm, um, I'm a professor of law and I'm studying uh, a particular text where, that has some words that I want my, uh, my students to, uh, to remember. So I'm going to look into my sources. And so this is, for instance, something I found on the, on the web um, about uh, the Human Rights Act of 1998. Um, and uh, what I can do here is automatically create flashcards based on the, the different words you have on, um, on this, uh, in this uh, document. Yeah? So it's going to take all the, the words here. Some of them might not be that, uh, that relevant, so you can always, um, you can always uh, remove them. But some others, like um, what's the definition, definition of a judge or a claimant, or for instance, to uphold or uh, unlawful, you can keep them, and then that means that very quickly you have an exercise that is uh, uh, that is ready to uh, uh, to share. So this is how it would look like, for instance, um, if you if you want your students to to learn this, so they would have flashcards that they, they could, for instance, use on their mobile phone, and um, and uh, they have the definition of the the different words, and if they've memorized them, they can click on I know. Um, and um, if they don't know them, they would click on this, and it would keep coming until uh, until they, they know them all. And if you go to a multiple choice, you would have, for instance, you would have to find the right definition of uh, of the word that, that is uh, that is here. Okay, I'm just going to um, uh, to pause to maybe take a couple of um, of questions. Um, so, Daniela, yes, the system is already in use. So, uh, the version I've shown you today was done for the demo purposes. So, this is not the, the version we, we use, but it's very similar. Um, as I mentioned a bit uh, a bit earlier, we work already with um, with uh, with some schools, and we are in talks with um, universities in Switzerland and in Canada to also put the uh, system in use. But we already have uh, several schools using it with uh, within their their classes. And the teachers use them because the benefit of Smartest compared to other solutions is that you can work with the documents you al already are using within your course um, and very quickly generate these quizzes that you can share with your class. Um, and uh, Marie, uh, yes, absolutely. You are able to change the, the contents uh, that are uh, created by, um, uh, by your, your tool. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that. I'm going to go back to my uh, screen here. And uh, let's say that um, I, I'm going to redo the exercise that uh, I've done uh, before, for instance. So I'm going to go here and um, generate the questions. And what you will be able to see in a second is that I can, uh, so I can delete uh, uh, questions, but I can also edit them. So I can go here, for instance, and I can um, say that I don't like this, uh, this tractor here. So I'm going to remove it. I could also add something here. So uh, new this tractor for lack of better words. I could add other acceptable uh, 
sensors, or like also known as uh, MITO, uh, so I'm, I'm just making it up, yeah. And uh, so, you, and you can even edit the uh, the question here, uh, the featured variant. So I can really edit everything. I can add instructions here to tell my, my students uh, uh, that they should, um, for instance, I can copy the, the picture that is here, and I can can tell them, uh, please uh, look at the picture below to answer the questions and then if i save when you do the exercise you would have the uh the uh, the answers that uh, sorry the instructions that, that i just uh, shared um and um nicole yes uh, you can uh, you can add absolutely the uh, the source citation uh, in the instructions i've um, i've shown there so if the if the source is already mentioned in the um, in the illustration, you can also copy it and include it in the exercise. But you can you can also copy a link to the source in the instructions, so that the, the students can um, can go back to uh, uh, to the uh, to the instructions. Um, uh, sorry, to the source uh, to the actual source uh, as well. I'm just going to, I think there was something um, as well. So um, on the uh, export, on the Q&A, uh, there was a question on export. So this is something we are working on right now. We are building an integration with Microsoft Teams, uh, not yet with Moodle or other LMSs. But uh, depending on um, whether a university would be interested in working with us on a big scale, this is something that uh, we, we could uh, we could build so that's on our, on our agenda but for the moment we don't export yet the uh, the exercises um, so in terms of uh, language model for the uh, Carsten, for the uh, uh, question generation it's uh, we used spacey at the beginning but then uh, we uh, we built on top our own uh, model and our own algorithms. Um, so we developed our proprietary technology, but we didn't start from scratch. We we used the existing models like uh, like uh, Spacey. Um, uh, Beate, yes, you can uh, get a test account for creating exercises um, uh, by yourself. I'm um, just going to put it here. So I'm going to put my um, address. And any of you who would like to have um, a test account to create the, uh, the exercises, you can, uh, you can write me directly to, to this address. And uh, I'll ask the, the team to, uh, to create a test account if you want to, uh, uh, to try it for, for yourself. Uh, the other thing we do as well is if uh, an education institution is interested in, um, in working with, uh, with us, um, we can also arrange a presentation uh, or an induction to several teachers who would like to, uh, to pilot the tool. In general, this is how we work with education institutions. We, uh, we run a, a free pilot with the teachers who are interested to, uh, to test the, the tool, um, and, um, and then we can, uh, we can go further from, from there. All right, so I'm going to uh, show you a couple of, um, of other things as well uh, that could be interested, interesting depending on the, on the level at which you're uh, teaching. So for instance, let's imagine you're, share, you're teaching um, a foreign language. So I'm going to go back to uh, Smartest here. And um, now, uh, let's say I'm teaching um, English as a foreign language, and I want to uh, my uh, my pupils to work uh, their grammar. So I'm going to here to create a new exercise, and I'm going to select uh, grammar, and I'm going to uh, to upload the source here. So I have uh, I had found a time ago a book, I think a book page from Harry Potter. Which is always uh, fun, depending on the on the age to uh, to work on uh, uh, when you uh, when you do grammar. Um, I'm uploading it, it here, and what you can see is that um, we've detected the text, which means that uh, I have some of these buttons that tell me that I can create 
grammar questions that are mixed or that I could create uh, questions that are focusing on determiners or adjectives or adverb. So I'm going to do a mixed exercise here. I'm going to click on, the, on this. And what it has done is that it's, it has created an exercise uh, that is already an MCQ that I'm going to, uh, to, uh, to show you now. Um, so here, you already have a multiple choice where you have to, uh, to select the, uh, the, the correct uh, answers. Um, so here, that would probably be uh, this one. And uh, if you're on, and if you do uh, something that is wrong, I'm going to select uh, something wrong after. So it would tell you uh, what was uh, wrong, and it would show you the, 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 correct, uh, the correct answer. And um, with the same document, I could also, instead of um, suggesting mixed grammar questions, I could uh, select questions that are only going to focus on determiner. And here, what you can see is that all the questions are based on determiners, which in English is not, in general, the, 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 the most difficult part. For me, who has tried to learn German as a foreign language, and all determiners were, was, uh, was tougher. But I could also, for instance, do um, verb questions where you will have to do the exercise um, by uh, finding the correct uh, verb form um, uh, that uh, that would be uh, that would be uh, in your in your document. Um, Teresa, yes, uh, it works with German school books uh, as well. I can also quickly show you. Uh, I think I'm still sharing my screen, so let me show you this with uh, with German. So I'm going to take. Uh, I hope I have something in German. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a grammar exercise because I think I have something on my computer in German. Um, let's see. Yes, grammar German. So I'm uploading it now. And again, I'm going to, okay, let's use the determiner questions. So I'm going to detect the text, click here. Okay, and uh, what you see here is that I have, a, uh, I have a, an exercise where I can practice German, um, uh, German grammar, for instance. And the same goes with the um, exercise I've shown you before. Uh, I don't have a biology text in German, but uh, yes, that, that would work um, yeah, equally. And um, Marie, your question about uh, selecting single sentences. So you you could also um, work with a with a full PDF. That's something we can do. So um, you you could have let's say a twenty pages PDF, and then you could generate questions on the whole um, uh, story. Absolutely. You you would just have to press this button several times on each page so that you get questions on. Uh, on the on the whole story, but yes, you you could do that with a multi-page um, uh, PDF. All right. Since we we have a little bit more time, I wanted to also quickly show you something else. So, what you could see is that um, we also have uh, other exercise types. Um, so one of them, uh, for instance, is um, categorization. So I'm going to, to show you something super simple that is probably more for younger students, but, um, but that, can, uh, that can show you um, a bit the, uh, the, uh, the, the things you can do with, uh, with Smartest. So let's imagine you are teaching younger children to identify um, healthy foods. And let's add the another category that is not so healthy food. I'm making it very simple here. And um, I'm going to, to add a couple of, uh, of, uh, of items. So here we cannot automatically guess what the author of the exercise wants to do. So we cannot automatically generate the, the categories. But what we can do is let you copy some some text easily so, or images so i can select this image and say that this is not so healthy uh, or i can select a text here um, and i'm going to say that the chips here 
are not so healthy. But conversely, I'm going to say that um, fish is um, is uh, is healthy, and uh, that fruit is um, healthy as well. And I'm going to take another image of uh, something uh, healthy, like uh, this one, and an image of something that is not so healthy, like uh, pizza, right? And uh, you could, of course, do this with anything. So if it were more advanced, you could do uh, that in economy or law or biology with uh, with uh, more advanced um, uh, items. But what you can see here is that I already have an exercise where I can ask uh, pupils to, to drop the, the different things uh, in the right place. And you can imagine that I could do that. For instance, if I were teaching law, I could say public law and private law. And then I, I could uh, select some laws and put them in the right, um, in the right uh, place, for, for instance. All right, I think we have um, uh, just two minutes left, so I'm just going to pause and to take any um, any uh, other questions. Uh, thank you, Marie, for for the, the the comment. Yeah, we are always trying to uh, uh, to uh, to make the experience um, intuitive, and um, and yeah, we have still some work to to do now. But uh, I think uh, in in the last uh, couple of years, we've uh, we managed to improve it. So thanks for for the for the feedback. And uh, so, as I said, we um, we work with uh, with uh, several languages for the interface. You could actually uh, the diagrams you um, I shown you it, it even works with other languages such as Mandarin or Arabic. If you wanted to do that, we don't have an interface itself in Arabic or Mandarin, but the um, but we can detect the, the text in other languages than European languages as well. If um, if you are teaching uh, one of these uh, these more uh, less common languages, um, and uh, yes, with uh, with pleasure, Bettina. So I'm again writing my uh, my email. Um, I was really happy to, to give this session, and um, please um, don't hesitate to reach out to uh, uh, to me if I can uh, organize um, a demo or speak at your university and also talk about the creation process or how we came to this idea and how we we tested and developed our, our tool i would be more than happy to um, uh, to uh, to do that <laughs>